So this is another one of those wing it projects of mine. Um, I had been collecting the baby wipes that I use basically to clean up my messes or to remove any paint from canvases. Um, oftentimes I look at the wipes and I go, oh, that's so pretty, it looks like tie-dye. I bet if I dry these out, I could make something pretty cool with them. So this was the day I decided that I was going to pull them out and figure out what to do with them. I also grabbed a cradle board that I had on hand that I previously started a project on, but obviously never finished, and I don't even remember what I had planned for it. So I decided to use the cradle board for this project because I knew I wanted to adhere the baby wipes somehow to the piece that I was working on, so it needed to have a, a solid background. I didn't have a vision or plan for the final product, so this is something that I did in uh, basically a three-step process. I worked on it one day, I let it dry, put it aside, came back another day, and it took me three sittings before um, I finished it. And who knows, I may even come back to it again uh, in the future and work on it. But right now as it stands, I'm happy with how it finished. So right now I just grabbed some of my modeling paste and I'm just putting that on the board and trying to arrange the baby wipes in a messy fabric-like way. I still wasn't sure if I was going to cover the whole board with baby wipes or just a few sections here or there. Um, I thought maybe, you know what, I'll just start, go with it, and hopefully find some inspiration along the way. My tendency is to want to make something tangible, something that you're going to look at and you're going to recognize, oh, this, this is a sunset, these are mountains, this is a flower. But in this case, I was really trying to pull away from my natural tendencies just because it can get really stressful and I can overthink it and just make it into something more than what it really is. And art is intended to be self-expression and therapy and discovery. So that was my, my plan going in was just to see see if I could discover something new um, and try to use up the stuff that I had been hoarding so far. So you hear me, you, you see me here taking a spray bottle. That's just water that I have in there. Um, I found that because the baby wipes were dry, they weren't really crinkling in a natural way. So I just sprayed them down just to dampen them a little bit, but not too much water because I didn't want this to take forever to dry. So I liked the way it was looking um, so far. I didn't want to put too many baby wipes on it from the beginning and then feel like it was too much. So I thought I'm going to stop right here because I like where it's going so far and see what else I can add to this piece. So I went and grabbed a bunch of my stamps or stencils. If you like texture on your artwork and you haven't tried this yet, you have to try this. This is so much fun. I just love doing this. I really like this pattern on this stencil. I tend to use that one a lot. It's covered in paint and dried modeling paste and you name it. I should probably wash my stencils, but who has time for that? Anyways, so I just go over with a thin layer of modeling paste and then remove the stencil. And that's pretty much it. You have to let it dry thoroughly. Um, sometimes if I don't have time or the patience, I'll take the blow dryer to it. But in most cases, I try to let it dry overnight just so that in case it's thicker in some areas that it has a chance to dry all the way through before I add any paint to it. I usually go over with gesso first just to make sure that it creates that barrier from the paint and the water so that the modeling paste doesn't reconstitute itself. I then decided to go into my stash of hoarded materials to see what else I could add to this piece. 
and found this metallic leaf flakes that I just picked up from the dollar store. It's not something that I had worked with before. They're all tiny random pieces and I'm fighting just to get this container open. Yeah, I knew it would be a challenge to work with, but I didn't expect it to be that hard to get out of the package um, and even harder to get it down onto the piece. My fingers were getting pretty messy and sticky from the modeling paste, and I didn't really want to cover over the metallic leaf because then it would take away the shimmer and the shine from the leaf, but... I don't know. I didn't really end up liking it in the end, but it was just about experimenting and seeing. <laughs> Ugh, what a mess. Yeah, I regretted that move. I don't think I'll be buying this stuff again. And I will be finding metallic leaf pieces in my studio for the next month or so. It was really hard to clean up because it, it's it's so lightweight so it just kind of floats away and so it's really hard to grab and pick up so FYI if you don't want a sparkly mess in your house or whatever it is that you're painting you might want to reconsider using this metallic leaf flakes leaf flakes from the dollar store it's pretty flaky So after the metallic leaf flake disaster, I decided to go ahead and add another section of baby wipe to it. I don't know if it was, if I was just looking for a bit more color or contrast, but I just decided it needed something more and that I was going to add another piece there in the upper corner. I wouldn't be able to do much more to the piece at this point because it needed to dry. The baby wipes were now damp from the spray bottle. The modeling paste underneath the wipes, I didn't know how long that was going to take to dry. And then of course the stencil pieces on the top. So I needed to let this uh, piece dry for at least a day and come back to it and see what I can do to it afterwards. So just go around the sides here and just make sure that everything is secured down. I don't really want to add more modeling paste the next time I come to, to it and have to wait for that to dry too. So I just kind of go around the piece making sure that everything is secure uh, before putting it aside. So there are two more parts to this video. I um, hope that you guys will join me in the next video to see how it comes together.